Hello everyone and welcome inside this video. Today we are going to explore how to move with cubes and arrow keys. Now, the first thing we have to do is obviously create the cube right here. Let's put it in the center here. The second thing we want to do is to create a plane We want to do this because uh, it's a little bit better to look at. Let's uh, uh, assign them some material for colors. Red. It will look better this way. Okay. Another black one. Better. Now, we, uh, we have to create a script to attach uh, to our cube. We can create it with right, create C sharp script and then assign it. Or we can do add, let's write uh, movement, new script, C sharp, create and add here in the project and here we have it now we will have to open the file let's double click and here we are this is a uh, mono develop but you can use uh, visual studio or every pro program you want let's start by creating a public variable it's a public variable because we want to be able to modify this variable not only through code modifying every time here but also inside the unity inside the editor and uh, maybe in the future we will need to modify this variable from other script and uh, we might still want to leave public uh, we want a float variable because uh, this is the speed variable and it will need to be uh, we might want uh, to lower this variable and uh, an only integer might be problematic so we want to be able to use decimal numbers and we do it through float the name speed and uh, done and then right here in update we want to we want to create a variable, a float. This is a variable that uh, we will assign. This is a variable that will store if we press the button and what type of button, what type of variable, how much. Basically, we then write within write input because we want uh, to know when we pressed when we pressed something when we pressed a button and it's an input and then get axis row this basically is when we press uh, an arrow key uh, we have a variable for example left and right we have from minus one which is left to one which is right and we want to do it from from horizontal then we want to do the same but for vertical which is forward and back and we change we can copy modify vertical and input that get axis row vertical now, we have two variables that uh, are singular variable. We want to have the direction. So, we can do vector3, which is uh, this indicates a point inside the unity, inside the workspace, inside the space in general. Name it, uh, we'll name it the 
direction and it's new tor free because we want to we want this variable to be a new vector free that is uh, horizontal which is uh, the x axis then we want uh, zero because we don't need to go up and down we need to go forward and backwards which is uh, vertical right here and we end the line here is where we will move let's do it we need to have the object the game object so we will write the game object which is this variable is referring to the game object this script is attached to in this case the cube dot transform transform is a way to have information about the position, the rotation, and the scale of the game object. Dot translate. There are a ton of different ways to move, but this is one of the most used. Here we will pass the direction. We want the direction, but we want to have the direction dot normalized because because we, if we pass the variable here, direction uh, without normalized, we will have to, we will have a, a, a particular type of movement, movement because uh, it's a square, because the horizontal and vertical are from minus one to one. And it's, uh, if we press two buttons at the same time, we will go we will have a type of movement that is not really that accurate. We will not have a great uh, a great movement. We want that to be a, a circle round with a maximum sides of one. We want also to be not frame rate dependent because if someone have a computer di different from someone else and have uh, a different frame rate we don't want to the charter for example or indicate in this case the cube to move faster or slower so we have to write multiply by time dot delta time which is the time from the last frame basically this uh, delete the frame rate dependency and we want also to be able to control how fast it will go. So we write, we multiply by speed. Let's save it. File, save, or Control S. And let's go to Unity. Here we are. Let's check our cube. Let's wait a little bit that it's saving. Let's add the speed. For example, five, and let's start the movement. Let's play, and here we have our movement. Really nice and cool. Thank you for being here. This this is everything for now, and let's see you to the next video. Bye bye.